Marine Fighter Attack Squadron 232, or VMFA 232, are at Kanahar Airfield to support their fellow Marines on the ground in Helmin Province. These Marines use their 12 FA-18 Hornet fighter jets to provide air support, and as Sergeant Danny Sullivan says, every Marine in this squadron plays a role. Well, from the lowest level, uh, you know, we're here directly to fix the aircraft. Um, you know, whether it's the smallest menial jobs to, up to the big, you know, whether deciding a jet can fly or if a jet can't fly. Um, after that, you know, it's up to the pilots to go up there, actually use their training and uh, drop bombs. The Red Devils, says Sergeant Glenn Vinoy Hughes, are most effective when their fellow Marines are pinned down. Uh, it's usually when they're getting uh, surrounded, um, caught off guard. Um, usually they attack in many, many numbers from all sorts of sides and they're just trying to defend themselves. So uh, instead of risking their lives of their own men, it's easier to call in the airstrikes. And with an increase in ground operations, the Marines of VMFA 232 have experienced a significant increase in workload. It's a lot, it's a lot more greater than it is back at home. Uh, we're, we're flying close to a thousand hours out here. Usually back at home we fly about 400 hours a month. The Marines of VMFA 232 will return to Marine Corps Air Station Miramar in California this November. Marine Corporal Bradley Hansen, Kandahar Airfield, Afghanistan.